Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 C and we're going to be looking at the brand new trailer we got. Uh, this is a really awesome trailer. I think especially if you're a huge Negan fan, if you're excited for that finale, um, that finale finale where we're going to have the Negan episode. This is a great trailer for that, but also we get to see some other stuff as well. So I'm very excited to get into this and break it down shot by shot. Obviously, general spoiler warning in case you aren't caught up. And then also, since The Walking Dead is returning very soon, I'm going to be doing a QA. and a um, I have a post in the community section of my channel. If you're interested, you can leave a question there and I'll be answering it in a video coming out pretty soon. Walking Dead is returning uh, very soon, so we're going to be having videos leading up to the show and then breakdowns and reviews and all that kind of stuff. So if, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, but other than that, let's get into the video. All right, so the dialogue we have in this scene is from Negan. Um, it, it matches up with what's happening towards the end of the trailer where we get to see the Negan flashback. So I'm going to save off the dialogue until we get there. I'm going to go ahead and talk about what we actually see. So the first thing we see here is Negan sitting in this cabin. You can see, the, um, you know, that chair with the jacket on it. Um, this so that kind of pretty much tells us that that scene where we had Negan, you know, with his old clothes on, like his classic Negan look, is sitting there. That is like present day Negan, who right now is sitting in front of that fireplace. That's him sort of imagining or you know just remembering his past, which is I think what leads us into the here's Negan or the flashback stuff, which I think is really cool. In terms of what he's doing in this cabin. Um, this obviously I think is related to Carol taking him away and I think he just might be staying here because of all the tension back home with Maggie. I'm very interested in seeing where this is going to lead for Negan. Is he just going to be by himself for a long time leading into season 11 or at the end of this episode is he going to go back to the community? Is he going to be okay with them? What do you guys think? Definitely interested. Uh, but Negan seems to be by himself by now, for now. Uh, next, we have uh, Maggie. She walks right past Negan. And you can see in her eyes that she really despises Negan. She's giving him like the big F you look. And Negan just like kind of looks down. Um, I think they do interact in this moment. Um, but we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe he says something and Maggie just like walks off or something. But you can see Judith there in the corner. Um, you know, this is an interesting thing because Judith was the one that Negan saved. So we'll see if, you know, she vouches for him. Is she going to tell Maggie what happened? Is Maggie even going to care what happened? What do you guys think? Do you think Maggie would care that Negan saved Judith? I'm sure, like, maybe she would, like, kind of be surprised. But for her, you know, and her son, it, it, like, just thinking about them, like, you know, is there any way Maggie would ever forgive Negan? What do you guys think? I think best case scenario is like maybe they 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 don't hate each other, you know, but they don't love each other. They just sort of like work together um, dealing with the Commonwealth. But we'll see. I mean, it's it's not impossible, but we'll see. Next, we have this shot of Negan. Uh, you can see the flames uh, from I think actually this is the flat. This might be from the uh, cabin he's in. But he kind of has a different look here. So I kind of feel like this is actually the yeah, this is probably like the flashback scene. Uh, but anyways, um, we can see Maggie here holding uh, Herschel Jr.'s hand. You can see him here. Look at that cap, Glenn's cap. It's so cute. Uh, super cool how we're seeing him on the show. But yeah, that hat is definitely going to bring back uh, Glenn memories. I mean, it already is bringing back Glenn memories. And you can actually see that in a friend of Alexandria here. So um Remember, they have to repair Alexandria also because of everything that happened there with the Whispers. Next, we have Aaron and Gabriel. Uh, they're, they, they look like they look very dirty, like they were just fighting or something like that. And I'm sure Maze is probably like you can even see, I think that's some blood on Aaron's head, like the top right. So they're obviously dealing with Maze. And, you know, he's obviously a villain, I think, or at least like at first he's going to be a villain. Um, but he seems to be giving them a tough time for sure. So that's one of the, uh, these, this is one of the episodes that I'm very excited about to see. What exactly is the deal with Maze? Who is he? What group is he a part of? Is he even part of a group or is he by himself? Um, he's played by Robert Patrick, who's a great actor. So I'm very excited to see uh, what goes down with him. Next, we have Daryl. Um, it looks like he's leading some walkers away. Apparently, we're going to be getting some Daryl flashbacks. So this could be from the flashbacks. But um, 
we might be getting some flashbacks of him searching for Rick, but you can see here, yeah, like he's on this trail and he's like leading the walkers away. So I think, you know, um, uh, he could be looking for Rick here. We have a shot of Carol. Uh, this is from her killing some walkers, I think, in a field. They released like a little um, promo of that. Um, and then we have that one scene of Negan. So you can see that, you know, he that, that, that was a chair that we saw earlier. And he's sitting on there. Um, well, he's not sitting on there. Like he's imagining himself sitting there, which leads into the flashbacks. Next, we have Maggie. I think the reason I say I think is I don't know why the first time I saw this I was like, is this Maggie or Leah? But this is definitely Maggie. <laughs> uh, somebody captures her apparently, or like there's like a trap that's set on the ground. You can see here that she steps on it, and it just like grabs her by the foot and pulls her off. So we'll see what the deal with that is. Um, there's definitely some other group out there. Um, I don't know if it's the Whispers. Like, what if there's, like, Whispers still there? That would be interesting, seeing more Whispers stuff with Maggie. I don't know if they would want to do that, though. I mean, I think it's possible. Remember, the Saviors went into the next season. The, like, the next couple, like, the first couple episodes of Season 9. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there are still remainder, remaining, um, uh, Whispers. Or I think it could just be someone connected with Maggie and Elijah, um, I still think they are some way connected with the Commonwealth, like they know the Commonwealth. I mean, you you guys let me know what you think about that. I think they are connected with the Commonwealth, or at least they know the Commonwealth, because why would they introduce another group on top of the Commonwealth? Unless it's like just like a another group that is just for these extra six episodes. Yeah, that could definitely happen for sure, which I think is definitely a possibility. I'm not saying it's not, because... The Commonwealth already now know Ezekiel and Eugene and them, and they could easily find these people too. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't have to be that. But just like Maggie's been gone for like six years, so I just like assume she's been with the Commonwealth. Speaking of Princess, we see her here running towards someone. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. We get to see more Princess towards the end of the trailer. Uh, we see this walker fighting, or yeah, this walker fighting Daryl. Uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty close call for Daryl. I'm sure he's going to be okay. I don't think Daryl's going to get bit. Um, and then we have Ezekiel fighting. You can't really see it in the image because it goes by super quickly. But basically there's like a like a Commonwealth soldier behind him. And he kind of like hits him I think. Because he turns around and the Commonwealth soldier like kind of like moves back. So uh, we'll see if they fight back. And I think they may. Because of that other scene that we had of uh, Princess outside running. So they may actually fight back. Will they be successful? I don't think so. I mean, it's the Commonwealth. But they definitely will put up a fight. Next, we have Gabriel here. He has a gun on him. Um, and this looks like he's like probably talking to Maze or someone. And someone is like maybe tied up to a chair. And he's like wanting answers or something. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, I, I'm really liking Gabriel. Like, they have done such a great job with his character, like, since they first introduced him until now. Like, how much he's changed. But even though he's changed, he's still the same in ways, like, he still wants to help people. Which is what I think is going to be a big conflict in this episode for him. Because I think Maze is, like, kind of judging him. Like, why are you helping people? And he's like, you know, they're still good out there. We just have to look for it. So, we'll see. I think the showdown between Maze and and then Aaron and Gabriel is going to be pretty cool. I'm excited for it. Next, we have that uh, more scenes of Princess like I was talking about. So we can see here that they were inside of that a container. They opened the door. You can see there's some blood on her. And then uh, you can see that everyone else has a bag over their head. And Princess does not. So the, the first scene that we have here where we actually see her in the door opening, we didn't get that in the first trailer. We only got the second part. So it kind of made it seem like this princess knows something, this princess betraying them or what. But now looking at this, you can see some blood on her. And I think maybe they might use princess to get answers because, the, I mean, princess still might know the Commonwealth. That's for sure. But the Commonwealth may want answers from these three. And it's not a coincidence that those three are, you know, part of the same community and Princess isn't. And she's the one who isn't, you know, with the one with the bag over her head. They're probably going to use Princess to get answers from them. And that's what I mean. Like, I think I think it is a possibility that Maggie doesn't know the Commonwealth because they could just find get answers. And that's how they go find them. But you guys let me know what you think about that. And then we have that Negan scene. So let me go ahead and read uh, what he says here. He's talking to somebody here. Obviously, this is the flashback scene. He looks younger. He has his, his jacket and everything like that. So he's saying, 
What can I say? Here we are again. The last time we did this, you said I talk too much. You see, this time you best hope I never stop talking because when I do, something very terrible is gonna happen to you. And when he says that last part, we get that look at this shot. I know everyone is, you know, everyone knows what this is from. It's pretty much like a, um, you know, callback to that scene when Negan got introduced and you know he pointed the bat, um, and that's how the season ended. So that's what's happening here. I think we're gonna see another, uh, you know, mo another scene where Negan is killing someone with Lucille. So yeah, pretty iconic. And this moment itself is iconic also because this is like this might be like Negan's first Lucille kill, and this obviously is like the early days of the apocalypse. Um, you know, when he first became Negan. So this episode is gonna show us a lot. I'm very excited for it. We're gonna see flashbacks with him and Lucille, like his wife, and then we're gonna actually see him become Negan, which. And it looks like it's going to go at least pretty deep into the um, here's Negan stuff because we're actually seeing him become Negan and he might even meet the saviors and take over the saviors. So very cool and interesting stuff. You guys let me know what you think about that. Are you excited for this episode? Are you excited for this uh, season? Uh, let me know what you think about the Commonwealth and Maggie. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think they know each other or what? Uh, but that was the trailer we got. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Again, the season is right around the corner, so we're going to have a lot of Walking Dead videos, so be sure to subscribe if you're a fan of the show. Other than that, thanks for watching, please take care, and I'll see you guys soon.